What about pain relievers after the MGB? Okay. And as you pointed out in our discussion, we recommend that you avoid almost all the pain relievers you can find in the drugstore. All the ones that are available over the counter. We don't like aspirin, ibuprofen, Aleve, and naproxen because they cause ulcers. And that's our biggest problem. In other words, aspirin causes ulcers, MGB causes ulcers. You put the two together, <laughs> ulcers. So we don't recommend those. Tylenol doesn't cause ulcers, but it can be hepatotoxic, can damage the liver. So we say, no Tylenol. Well, if there's no Tylenol, no aspirin, ibuprofen, Aleve, naproxen, Motrin, uh, what can I take? And the answer is, for mild pain, we don't have a good answer. There is nothing good that we can recommend for mild pain. On the other hand, what if you're shot with a gun, dropped out of a building, set on fire by terrorists? Okay, in that case, we recommend narcotics. Now, narcotics are great pain relievers. They don't cause ulcers. They don't damage the liver. The disadvantage is you can't take them willy-nilly. Now, you mentioned Vicodin. Vicodin is a combination of narcotics and Tylenol. So, ideally, we'd like the stuff that's in Vicodin, which I think is oxycodone, without the Tylenol in it, if your doctor's willing. The other thing is, we think cigarettes are bad for you. Will one cigarette kill you? No. We think Tylenol is bad for you. If you were to take one Tylenol, would you be like Fred Sanford, clutch your chest, and, and fall over dead after one Tylenol? No. So we have actually had people, when I recommend that they avoid Tylenol and aspirin, where they kind of take it to an extreme, where I've actually gotten a cell phone call from one of my patients. He says, Dr. Rutledge, Dr. Rutledge, I'm in the hospital. A nurse is trying to force me to have a Tylenol. Here, talk to her. Mm -hmm. And I said, who is this? And so this is a nurse. I'm trying to give Miss Smith a Tylenol tablet. And she says she'll die if she takes a Tylenol. And so we're not saying that. We are saying that Tylenol taken frequently at home can damage the liver and we don't want that with our patients so we recommend you avoid Tylenol. If you were to take one Tylenol just like smoking one cigarette we don't think you'd fall over dead with one Tylenol. 